Unlock how a piano works in one video. Keep watching to learn what happens when you press a piano key and play a note. Like and bookmark this video for easier future reference. First, let's learn the parts of an upright piano action with this model of one note. Key, capstan, whippin, whippin flange, jack, jack spring, jack flange, as in jumpin' jack flange is a... never mind. Let off rail, let off button, back check, bridle strap, bridle wire, hammer butt, hammer flange, hammer return spring, hammer shank, hammer, damper felt, damper head, damper wire, damper lever, damper flange, and a damper spoon. Now let's see how they all work together. When you press the front of the key down, the back of the key rises. This is because the key sits on a rail called the balance rail, where it can rock kind of like a seesaw. When the back of the key rises, it pushes the capstan up, which causes the whippin to rise. As the whippin rises, it lifts the jack, which pushes the hammer forward toward the string. When the jack reaches a certain point, the jack heel contacts the let-off button, causing the jack to pivot backward and disengage from the hammer. From this point on, the hammer flies freely on its own inertia and hits the string. Because the jack is disengaged, the hammer can then rebound from the string, where it is then caught by the back check. Incidentally, the disengaging jack mechanism is what allows the piano string to be struck, unlike its earlier cousin, the harpsichord, whose strings were plucked. While all of this was happening, the damper spoon pushed the bottom of the damper lever, causing it to pivot on its flange and lifting the damper away from the string so it could vibrate. When the key is released, the action parts return to rest position and the string stops vibrating, unless the player is holding the sustain pedal down, in which case the dampers stay lifted from the strings. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's what happens each and every time you play a note on an acoustic piano. And that's just a model of one key. Multiply all of that by 88, and you gain a perspective of just how complex the workings of a piano really are. I hope you enjoyed this, and that you now have greater insight on what happens the next time you sit down and play your favorite song on the piano. Like and follow for more piano tips, music, and humor.